Hello everyone, welcome to Hard Copy, the program where we bring you the people behind the news. I'm Maupe Ogun. Well, tonight we bring you the concluding part of our interview with the Senate President, Dr. Bukola Saraki. He takes questions on the controversy that surrounded the confirmation hearing of acting EFCC Chair Ibrahim Mago, the now passed Petroleum Industry Governance Bill, and the work the Nigerian Senate is doing to revive the economy. Well, you know that um, when we were in the recession, we came back and held a special session where we, are, we listed a number of steps that the executive should take in coming out of a recession. Uh, and some of them, of course, they've taken them, and we're going to try and ensure um, that um, we, we, we see that through. One, um, of course, this diversification of the economy is key. We must stay focused on it. We must ensure that you know, we don't, because things are getting better, we go back to the, the bad habits of being a, just an import-dependent economy and just depending just on oil. Um, we talked about trying to ensure there's peace in the Niger Delta, and we've seen that with the level of production and stability in that sector. Of course, that has allowed our oil revenues to go up. Uh, we must diversify our revenue. At the moment, non-oil revenue is only 4% of GDP. We must increase our tax base, um, you know, the, cap the, the class of people that we can capture. We must try and improve that. Which is some of the things that the executive arm of government is saying too. So what are the laws that the Senate is doing to ensure that they're able to do this? No, there are two issues. Is that you're going to think about whether you're increasing certain taxes, but that's a, a big decision, political decision that needs everybody on board. Uh, is the oversight on collection. The fact that we believe that um, we're not collecting, uh, nefarious are not collecting enough revenue. A few people, just a few, we must improve that base. And that's where the oversight of National Assembly to see that we, we take them up in ensuring that you know, they improve on that collection. Um, the other area, of course, is, is the collection and tax in the petroleum sector. Um, we, are, we are going to work very hard to see that we get the best hands and review a lot of the tax regimes and actual payments by many of the oil companies. I'm of the opinion that I believe that you know, we're going to change in those areas. We're not getting the right amount that we should get. Um, that's my gut feeling, and we've spoken in that with some of our colleagues, and we're going to look into that to see that the right amount of PPT, royalties, and all those areas are actually going in. Um, and then how do we also support FRS to get them more funding for better training and, uh, and better expertise in seeing how to improve it, that area? Because we must do that. The other area is going back to the issue of this diversification of our, of our economy, agriculture especially. Um, we've ten, taken a lot of action in the Senate in trying to support agri, for example, in the area of rice production. Uh, we see a lot of threats in that area, particularly in the area of, if you've seen over the last years with FOM, Mr. President, a lot of farmers have gone back and, and they're growing a lot of rice. Rice mills have started producing. But that is being threatened now by economic sabotage, that's what I'll call it. And the Senate is working very hard on that, of where um, rice is being brought in from our neighboring countries at a very low price because people are not paying the right duties. And once they do that, it's going to affect the farmers. We must fight that. So what's the Senate doing specifically? Specifically, what, we, what, what we've asked, or we brought that to attention of the President, and I'm sure the president is taking action now to sit down. We must sit down with our neighboring countries. Ours so, and our own part is to, we have highlighted that, that that's a problem. And they must sit down with our neighboring parts. Our view is that there must be a review on the fiscal policies on, to, for example, rice. Because, for example, the rice that is going into places like Republic of Benin, we know it's for onward uh, final destination here is in Nigeria. On our own part is to hold executive accountable to see that they take an action. We need to sit with the government of Republic of Benin. And I think the president is already doing that. You know, I personally wrote to him on that. And I've got assurances that steps have been taken for, to make sure that happens. And we'll be on it until it does happen to ensure that we protect our farmers and see that they are priced. And then secondly, also, is to look at the area of um, funding and finance of the um, industries. For example, you know we passed a law on this we made in Nigeria in the Procurement Act amendment, where we've made it mandatory by law that MDAs now that budgets have been approved must give first option to Nigerian companies. That will significantly will create jobs. And that's one area that will, will help get us out of recession. We're hoping that once we start implementing budget, we're going to set up a unit 
both in my office and the committee relevant, to be able to oversight and be ensure that if you're a Nigerian company, where, for example, you're producing envelopes, for example, and you bid for a job in Ministry of Sports, and Ministry of Sports decides that they want to give that envelope to a company that's importing, we'll say, no, this is a law you must... And I think that will help a lot of small and medium-sized companies. Well, on Thursday this week, that was just yesterday, the Nigerian Senate passed the first phase of the petroleum industry bill. When I had this conversation with the Senate president, he had given his word that the bill was going to be passed before the first week of June, which has now been done. But what was the cause of the delay in passing such an important bill? That you know, I know, has been around for a long time. Um, since Yaradua, um, um, President um, Jonathan, and Seventh Senate, Sixth Senate, uh, I think I said Fifth as well, where um, people have been talking about it. And I, one of the promises I made when I became Senate President was I was going to break this jinx. A lot of people, again, like most things, thought that we're just talking and we're not doing it. We're now at the last stage. Uh, the report has been laid, is now for debate. We will have passed it earlier than this. Well, unfortunately, the, the troubles in the Niger Delta was a setback for us. Um, so I think we'll pass that, the governance part of it, um, before we go on, uh, on before we do it two years. And, uh, and I think that, that again, you know, my message, we, that, that would be a great achievement we can do that. That will send a lot of confidence. And now, the other two areas has to do with host community mm -hmm. and the fiscal. Uh, we're going to do debates for those as well before in, in the next couple of weeks because we gave an undertaking a lot of people had reservations on the uh, governance bill uh, that once we pass the governance bill are we not are we just not going to abandon community issues and, and we said no so we're going to debate that take that that will pass second reading to the next two weeks and, and i think that would send a you lot think of that it will not be contentious the areas that were contentious in the past assemblies will not raise their heads no, again to be contentious mm -hmm. but the bill is, is that, that's a bill is about people sit down and it's about give and take you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, not, it's not automatic. You know, it's not the, what you start off with, you end up with. We will hopefully have some bill that is, that is um, everybody satisfied with. Those from this part of the country, that part of the country, different stakeholders. Um, I can't predict what that, what that will look like. But uh, what, what I, I, I am working towards is to say that we will find something that is acceptable to everybody. But there are uh, fears now, you know, that yes, this might go through the Senate, especially the, the first one, which is already in the final yeah, state, is the PIGP. Yeah. But it doesn't look like that the House of Reps is doing much in that regard. Are you also speaking with your, speaking your House. colleagues in the House of Reps to ensure that this is law? Because last assembly, in the seventh assembly, the House of Reps did a lot of work on it. What they did not get was concurrence from the Senate. We will pass it. Um, in, as I said, next two weeks, we're working with the House. And I'm confident that the House too will pass the version, maybe similar. We will sit down, we will have conference, and we will harmonize a, a version. We've done that. We've been working very well in the House on many issues. I don't think this will be any different. Mm -hmm.